All right, so in this video, today I'm gonna to be making an end mill. Well, you might think, how is he gonna make an end mill? Uh, it's pretty simple. Now, I have here a broken DeWalt titanium, I think it's a titanium cobalt drill. And it's pretty much something you pick up at the home improvement store. This one's a half inch, this one has the uh, triple cut edge shank for uh, drills so they can grip really good. Anyways, I've been doing some grinding to this. So I've gone down right at the center, cut it all out, and I've done some relief cuts, um, especially on the top. And I've got it down to about a 45 degree angle. And I've done some side relief cuts also. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more cutting to this just so I can get more uh, relief on the angles and then I'll be putting this on the milling machine and try it out but um anyways here goes All right, so I'm done with my grinding there. Um, this is my result. Kind of hard to focus in on this, but uh, there it is. Done a couple of relief angles. And this is gonna be pretty much for plunge cutting. It's not gonna be really for uh, side milling. So I got my homemade end mill there chucked up and piece of, of aluminum there that I need to cut down. And this is pretty much going to be for rough milling. I mean, it ain't going to be for a smooth finish. But hey, out of a broken drill bit, you can make something, you can make something useful out of it.
So as you can see, I was able to do some decent milling there with a broken DeWalt drill drill bit. So uh, this might be a no-no to many machinists. They might say, no, 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 this will not work or that's a bad idea. But check out the drill bit. There's no, there's no aluminum on that thing. There's none stuck to it. And I'll get a close-up of the material. I mean, it's really excellent for rough cutting. Depending how good you grind this bit, you can actually get a really decent finish. Um, if you put your time and effort into it, you can make a really nice end mill. It leaves a real nice shine when it's actually doing some climb milling. Uh, I couldn't really capture that on the video, but I mean, I, I can get a really good finish out of this. I've gotten a pretty good flat surface there. Like I said, it's really good for plunge cutting. And I will demonstrate real quick some side cutting. Uh, I don't know how that might work out, but hey, why not? So that's the side milling there. It's not the most awesome, but hey, it's decent. Um, it gets the job done. If you're just trying to mow down a little bit of that material to get it to a nice clean finish, that's the way to do it. But uh, hey, not bad for a broken drill bit, right? Uh, if I were to do some side cutting or uh, actually some relief angles to the side of the drill bit, I'm sure, I'm really sure I could get some really good side milling there. So don't throw away those drill bits when they could be used for something else. Um, if you're throwing away drill bits, I'll give you my address so you can send them to me. Sometimes one man's junk is another man's treasure, but anyways, that's it for this video. That's how to make your own end mills. Thanks for watching.